Welcome back to the Request Show on Rave TV channel. Like I always tell you, this is the only show on television. You, you, yes, you. You determine the playlist. How do you do that? You sit in the comfort of your home. There's a number on your screen. It's not for Shakara. You pick it up, you call into the show, and you say, this is the song I want to listen to. And guess what? We'll play it for you. And like I said before, I have a very special guest in the studio. If you're wondering what my name is, don't wonder. They call me the sugar mommy of Lakers, London, Abuja, Kaduna. Eh, I want to thank and beside me is a very handsome gentleman. When it comes to music production, you say they call him an Agbalagba and Agbalagbi in the building. His hands do magic when it comes to production, songwriting, and everything. Let's make welcome to the show a veteran producer in the building. The one and only is Music Magnet! <laughs> How you doing? I'm very well. It's so thank nice you, thank you for see, having me. You know what I'm saying? It's only red carpet, red carpet we used to see. Don't and I've been inviting you for this my show for like two years. It's been saying I'm touring me. in UK. Forgive I'm me. in America right now. <laughs> uh, uh, and there's this music concept. I'm coming up with, you know, I had them working. So to have you, it's so nice to have thank you. you. So How are you? Much. I'm very well. How okay, doing? I'm all right. I'm yeah. all right. I'm all right. I'm ready. I'm ready to push on the hot spot because I'll put on the hot spot. So let's meet you officially. Music okay. Magnet, what are your real names? Well, my, my real names are Zlongo. Okay. Wilson. Mm hmm. Sunday. Mm hmm. Ero Mosele. Mm hmm. Joel. Mm hmm. No, I, I, the, the one I like is the Romosele. Yeah. Edo State people. Edo State, yeah. It means, it means an answered prayer. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Romosele. Yeah. Like people come and see what the Lord has done for me. Wow. Something like that. Wow. What, what was the story behind your birth? Were they looking uh, for shade? Was it that they were looking for one kind of money and your mama born you the money just shock? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they always say TMI, yes. too much information, so set, uh, some things ah. I can't say on there. Uh, but I know there was some situation. Okay. They were not looking for a child, but there were some things happening around then, and I was like the... Mm. The gift. When you came. Yes. Everything. Everything's so treat, there. Treat me like a gift. Everything's there. Hey, hey, hey. Once $2,000 is showing up, once you show up on my show, I'm all right. That's all I need today. <laughs> Just $2,000 for today. Anyway, so let's, let's start with you. Um, let's, let, me, let me come here. You know, every time I hear the song, Alakbara, mm, you are the mighty one. I go like, wow. You didn't just produce that song. You wrote, I want to know about the process of that song. That, that song goes, uh, you know, I'm very careful. Every time yes. I say I wrote that song. Okay, yes, I wrote it, it on paper. No, I wrote yeah. it actually. Okay. You know, I was, I was in America one day in um, Houston. Okay. And then I was sleeping. It was not even midnight yet, maybe like evening or something. I think I had jet lag. That's what happened. Okay. So I lay down. So, okay, let me just catch some sleep. And I started hearing the melody in my head. Wow. For real. Like the instrumentation, the voices, the harmonies in my head. Mm. It was so traumatizing to say. I quickly picked my phone and started recording, you know, the song. So I, then I picked a pen and paper. I wrote it down. So I went back to, when I went back to, came back to Nigeria, I recorded the song in the studio. I even sang it. Okay. You know, so I'm like, okay, so this song now, what's going to happen to this song? It's just going to be here, you know? And I was thinking, who's the best person that I can, can give this know. song to? Mm. That can sing this song, you know? And then the best, the best, absolute best person was the person who sang it. Honest! Honest. <laughs> you know, and she did justice to it. So yes. honest, if you're watching, Shout out. And, and, and for now, I'm not even going to hide it. Oh no, it's going to kill me. I think that's one of the best songs. Every time I hear mm. that song, I see Onos. I see something else in Onos. Because mm. I've known Onos for a bit. We, 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 we used to attend the same church. Wow. And I always notice any time Onos takes worship, like, I'm not trying to be religious. You just go, wow. So that song brings out the Onos in on us and to think about the fact that you wrote beautiful Thank but right you. now we have a question for you because we're going to be doing the interview and i'm going to put it on the spot think i was america <laughs> <laughs> okay so the question for the day basically is do awards determine your craft now this is a, mm. you're coming from a producer's angle we are looking at artists we are looking at producers filmmakers models do the number of awards determine how good your craft is? So the answer is in two parts. Okay. For balance sake and for critic sake. Okay. First of all, it will be a yes for me. Okay. But yes, it actually does. Um, so whether you, whether those awards, whether you, you, what's the right word? Whether you qualify for those awards or not, 
does not come to play when I say yes. It determines okay, whether that, okay, you merit them or yes, you don't merit them. Yes, because for you to get it, there, there must be a reason. Yes. Either you have good work out there or you have a good PR. And then for me, the other answer, which I strongly always um, hang on to, is no. It Why? doesn't necessarily, yeah, it doesn't necessarily determine that your career is on the A game or something because you can buy awards these days. Now, yeah, you can buy awards. No, there's a way you looked at me and said you can buy awards. Are you trying to search for another brand? I don't understand because you look, no, you are looking no. the other way, then you don't look directly at me you, and say you can buy awards. Are you saying uh, I buy awards? Let, I, don't let, know, I don't know. Let me uh -huh. explain before the blogs carry this video and paste just 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, no. Now, when I say you can buy awards, yes. it's not just with money. Mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. You can buy awards with your PR. Yes, relationships. You understand? So, like, I posted something on my Instagram the other day. Mm -hmm. I said, your song can be so good that nobody will know your song. Yes. Why? Because you kept it. There was no promotion for it. There was nothing for it. So some of the biggest songs you hear today are big because the people who own those songs put a lot of weight behind those songs. They're not necessarily the best songs. Yes. So what now happens is those songs now have popularity. And of course, automatically, when it's time for the award, <laughs> who are they going to give the award? That's the song everybody has heard more than the beautiful song that, that you are hiding. Somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. So when I say you can buy awards, I'm not necessarily saying you can pay the people who organize the award for, for the award. Even though we've heard stories like that, <laughs> I don't have a proof. <laughs> I have to be careful. I don't have a proof, oh. Yeah, <laughs> you said we've heard stories like that. Yes, I, I don't have a proof, you know, but I know that with your PR, yes. you can buy any award you want. Most mm -hmm. of the people who win Grammy are not necessarily the best in the game. Yeah. Okay. They're just people who have constantly understood the power of PR, mm. the power of publicity. Mm. They don't joke with it. Wow. Yes. So, so now coming from this point, let's now be real. Because in the music industry, we keep hearing certain names, mm. and there are some other names that we don't hear. Mm. Okay. So, for example, a CK was doing so fantastically internationally, mm. and some Nigerians didn't even know who CK was. Exactly. And people outside the country had heard his music and said, "This is an amazing artist." Mm. But because he didn't have that monetary power, now I want to come from this because you are a producer and you've been in the you've been in the game. Do you think money determines how popular you become? So when you say money determines, like the use of money? Yes, to push mm. yourself as an artist. I, I think it's, it's also part of the things that helps your PR, if you ask okay. me. Okay, okay. So what, what am I saying is this. I told somebody one day, I said, do you know that there are some artists you don't know in Nigeria that are known everywhere else? In the world. In the world. Mm. Like one day I was in um, Universal Music Office in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And the publishing manager, um, uh, the head of publishing, sorry, Universal Music, played me a particular song. And the song was, oh, I forgot this artist's name, oh my goodness. One beautiful song that came out in Nigeria one time. It was already there. They were already feeling the song, like, man, who is this guy? Wow. Who is this guy? And then I checked back home, like, nobody knows nobody him. Nobody knows the guy. But this guy's song is already in universal music. Mm. They are just waiting for him to probably, maybe... Do a little bit of promotion. Do a little bit in Nigeria. And then wow. they just come out to the side and say, yes. We want to sign you. We know this guy, yes. We want to sign you. Let's do your publishing or your distribution or whatever works for you. So... I think money is important. Okay. Very, very important. I mm. mean, some of our faves. Let's yes. let's 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 be honest. It's money that they have above most of the other artists, mm -hmm. and not just money just to flange or they know how to use that money. Yes, they so know how it to puts use them, it. Yeah, so it puts them in front constantly. Constantly mm. puts them in front. Mm. You know, you go to some people's pages. They, they just have like twenty thousand followers. But you'll be seeing the likes and comments on their posts. You'll be going like, wow, how come? 20K, yes. Yeah. And you see some people that have 10 million followers. You need to come. Exactly. <laughs> you know. So now, finally, because I'm, I'm still going to play with you for a bit. Money or talents? Which one takes people further in the industry? Hey, whoa. Because you're a producer. <laughs> so when an artist walks into your studio, this, this mm. is a real, this is real now. Money or talent? <laughs> you want to hear the truth? Yes, boss. This is a very terrible situation <laughs> I found myself right now. <laughs> and the truth is this. Yeah. You see, with, with money, a chicken can sound like a lion. You see what I'm saying? They are broken. <laughs> <laughs> with money, I'm telling you. So without money, mm -hmm. a chicken can actually sound like a tortoise. 
because you don't have money to amplify the sound. The sound. Everything you hear in your head, the things you want to see in your music, you don't have the money to fund it. Hmm. But you see, with money, hey, I don't want to tell you some studio tricks. No, tell me. I've, I've, I've had, I've had productions. I've had yes. productions where mm -hmm. you know the artist knows that. Come, I'm not vocally there. Can you get me a vocal instructor? Wow. Yes. And then they come to the studio every time, take their, you know, there, there's one particular project I did for one song. It took the artist about, and I'm not exaggerating, about six sessions wow. to finish the lead. Hmm. Because they will sing something, and I go like, no, it's not, it's not quite there. So they will agree and say, yes, I agree, it's not quite there. What do we do? Let my vocal instructor come back. They will come back just for maybe like three or four lines. They'll focus on it, and then they'll deliver it nicely. And then they'll go home and go and rehearse and come back. By the time they sing, you'll not believe it's the same person. So talent is very important, don't get me wrong. But you see that thing called money? Even the Bible and the Quran will tell you that it answers all things. You understand what I'm saying? So if you have just little talent and a lot of money, oh, forget about you it. You are good to go. Wow. If you have a lot of talent, I don't have no any money. money. Ah. I got go up here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this, this, this one, I call it the fastest 30 seconds. At this point, I ask you just two things I pick one. So if I say Amala, Eba, okay, you know, now. and then you're going with Amala, <laughs> or you're going with Eba, are you ready? Let's go there. Shake, 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 Land Cruiser. Land Cruiser. You don't like Volkswagen, don't you? Don't well, you have the Maybe the new model, but Land Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Beyonce or Rihanna, you have to work with one. Beyonce. Mm. Aria Star or Tenny? Tenny. Mm. Thames or Tiwa Savage? Hmm. Ole. <laughs> I'm sorry, Thames. Okay. David or Whiskey? Very popular. Wahala. <laughs> uh, Whiskey. Okay, Ashake or Bona Boy? I know why I'm asking you this question. They have similar Bonaboy. sounds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, I let them know say I didn't put anybody. Tim Godfrey or Mike Abdul? Ah, don't, don't, <laughs> both of them are my friends. I said pick one, I know so Can't I sit on the fence? Never. <laughs> I can't call a friend. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> Mike Abdul. And, and I know you have worked with both of them. So, <laughs> Mike Abdul. So it's the same thing. It's the same thing we go. Okay, so now I want to ask you this question. You know, in the industry right now, mm. many people are in the industry. Like many people are doing stuff in the industry, but a lot of artists are having challenges. And you know, they are they're having challenges with their vocals. As a producer, how do you advise somebody that is having challenges? Because some people can sing, and after a while, maybe they lose their voice or they just lose keys or something. What's your advice for them? So, so that's why, I mean, I always say, rehearsal does not have a end. And I mean, an end date. Um, rehearsal does have a starting date, which is the day you start to rehearse, but there's no end to it. Mm. So you have to always understand your voice at every point, know what's happening. So, for instance, when a woman gives birth, yes. most times mm -hmm. their voice changes. Wow. Yes. Sorry, I need to push you. We have a caller. Don't go anywhere. Hello, <laughs> good afternoon. Welcome to the show. What's your name and where are you calling us from, please? Hello. Uh -oh. Hello. Yes, good afternoon. What's your name? Hello. Hello, we can hear you. Are this person who has baritone voice going to come around? So <laughs> Hello. 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 Uh -oh. Hello, good morning. Yes, good afternoon. What's your name? I'm calling from Kaduna. You're calling from Kaduna. Welcome to the show. I'm Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Say Emmanuel. hi to Emmanuel. Hello, Emmanuel. <laughs> All right, so. Emmanuel, Emmanuel from yes, Kaduna. Yes, we can hear you. Emmanuel, you are listening from your TV. What's that song you want us to play for you so that we can let you go? Aha. Uh -huh. There's a oh, 30 seconds work. delay. No, no, he's listening from his TV. So oh. he's waiting before he comes. Emmanuel, song you want us to play for you, please. Are you there? Hello? Okay, Emmanuel is hello. All right, guys, please, <laughs> when you call into the show, just do us a favor. Stop away from your TV. Don't listen from your TV. Listen via your phone very quickly. Yeah, so we're talking about the fact that when women give birth, their, their voice changes. Yes. First time I'm hearing this. Okay. No, not, not all women. Okay, so. So some, their voice goes from, from, from if I can just use the word, for description, from mm. thin to big. 
Mm. So, so instead of, how are you doing, goes, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I mean, I have an artist who, mm -hmm. <laughs> a very funny station. She came to do some songs before she got to, before she delivered a baby. Okay. <laughs> so when she came after the, <laughs> to finish, <laughs> to finish the, the voice was not matching. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we had to do the song again from beginning wow. with the new voice. You know, so and there are some whose their voice was bigger before they gave birth, and then and the voice became thinner. Thin. Yes, wow. it's not for everybody. For okay, some people, for some depends people. on the. I think it depends on the experience they had when they had uh, the, the birth of the child. Okay, I think so. So you mean labor affects the voice? Oh, wow. well, labor does a lot of things to women. Mm. Shout out to women. Shout out to all the women. Yes, the yes, yes. Shout. I'm doing shakari to all the women. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, okay. And, and I have mm -hmm. a, a boy as well. His name is Aya. Everybody knows Aya. Yes. Ayo's voice, just two years ago, is okay. not the same as it is right now. How? What happened? His voice was tiny, sweet, old, young guy. Right now, he has like a baritone voice. <laughs> but the good thing is, when it comes to managing voice, like you said, yes. is he has known how to manage the voice okay. because he realizes a lot. He has a lot of mentors, okay. you know, that he also listens. I'm also one of his mentors. You know, and mm. yes, we asked. And so we have a caller. Let me post yes, my mentor. Yes, yes, Hello, good afternoon. What's your name and where are you calling us from? Hello? Hello? Oh, the caller has gone. Okay, yes. Oh. So you're talking about having a lot of mentors. Yes. yes. So, know, so so that, that, that's basically what you need to do to ensure that you are rehearsing every time. So you walk, 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 walk. Yes. You need to, because once you are, when you are rehearsing, you'll be able to tell where your voice is at, at every time. Mm. And what next you need to do, and what you need to sometimes stop doing. Okay, so what are the things you think people can stop doing? Because me, I want to release yeah. album. I'm just asking this question. Okay, the, ver yes. the, the, first, the first funny one is people saying, ah, stop drinking ice water. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Can I be honest with you? Yes. Every rule, you know, should be considered. Okay. But they are not, rules are not supposed to be laws. Okay. And I explain that. There are mm -hmm. some people I know that drink cold water like you cannot imagine. In fact, there's one bros we know, very popular. He drinks cold water than anybody I know. But let him pick the microphone. Who? I it's, won't mention I his name. Timid, I'll go look. It's not to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he will water. sing you. He will sing you out of your seat, and mm. he drinks cold water every. In fact, once he's done singing, yes. I mean, give me, give me cold water then. You understand? Yeah. You know, for some people, that it doesn't, doesn't work. work. That's okay. why I say when you rehearse, sometimes you know what to stop doing. Okay. But one of the things you can always do is, as much as possible, try not to sleep so much under the AC. Okay. okay. Because what that thing does is working with your. Your, your breathing um, um, system. Okay. So sometimes it can mess up your nasal, nasal um, original form. Okay. You know, that's something to really consider, at least for mm -hmm. everybody in general. So, Reduce the use of it. So if you don't get money, nothing they do, your voice will go. <laughs> no, no, I mean, naturally, warmth is good for the voice. Yes, no, I'm just yeah. saying, when you're mm. poor, <laughs> Okay, so another tip, another tip quickly. Yeah. Um, another thing you can also do is to eat food that are less in fatty oil. Okay. Yeah. If nice. you can avoid as much as, see, it's not easy, especially in this society, because yes. everything are fry, 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 yes, fry. Yes, beans, you everything. You understand? So as much as possible, if you can, consider that. All right, so guys, right about now, we're about to take you for the break. It's almost one o'clock, and you know what time it is. When it's one o'clock, we bring you the five hottest songs in Nigeria. In no particular order, enjoy top five on the request show. In a bit. All right, so you totally caught me dancing. The top five is on point, crazy and interesting. Welcome back to the Request Your Rave TV channel. Like I always say, we played a song you did not like. Well, that's not my fault. That's your fault. You need to call into the show and request for a song you like. Don't just call it and say, Sugar Mommy, I love you. Sugar Mommy, I can't leave. I know this. Uh -uh. What is there not to love about me? What's that? All right, so my guest is still in the studio. Is the amazing, the fantastic, the producer of all producer, our yeah. celebrity of other celebrities. No other but it's <laughs> music magnet Thank in you the for beauty. Me. Now your name, music magnet. I don't understand. Is it because you are magneting music or music is magneting you? So first of all, it's yes. not magnet, it's magnet. Magnet. You know oh. I've had to correct people. Like at some point I now get people like, you don't show how people you No, you like see. magnets. In primary school, magnets used to play. So that's why. So, so, so you know like oil yes. magnets, oil, oil magnets, yes, business magnets. magnets. Yes. So I'm like, there's no music magnets. Ah, I like it. And since then. It just stuck. Okay, so very quickly, I want you to just give me a rundown of 
celebrities you've worked with. Because you know, we're talking about you, people will know you know you, but there's some people at home that don't say, Sugar Mom is your IP, this guy, your IP, this guy. Because the guy go to America, Sugar Mom is just shout, shout, America, I just do you, Sugar Mommy. So I just I just want, like, you know, not, not too much, not too much. I'm not too proud on the show. Just to break down some people. You're telling me you See, mixed Sawa's album recently, yeah. Home, home artist or foreign artist, which one? Hey! Hold on, we have a caller. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Uh oh, hello. See, they are warning the child. And suddenly, you went on. So that's not children's day. Don't be warning any children. Okay, so let's start with foreign artists, yes. Um, foreign artists I work with in South Africa, I work with Judith Sepuma. Mm. I work with Joy Celebration. Wow. I work with um, the Plenty. My very first hit, her mm -hmm. name is Lulu. Wow. Unfortunately, she passed. Oh. Yes. She was, was the only artist that opened for John Legend when he came to South Africa. Fantastic. Um, I've worked with um, Kunle Ayo, our own guy out yes. there. Yes. Um, Buffalo Soldier. I don't know if you guys know Buffalo Soldier. Yes. Work with Buffalo Soldier. Mado. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Nigeria is okay. Um, it's okay. Praise to me. Mm -hmm. um, Antonio Bassi. Nice. Gloria Brimo. No yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, I'm going to shock you now. Yes, yeah, Oyana. I've actually worked with. Uh, the video before. Hey! <laughs> but he doesn't know I've worked with him. <laughs> you produce a song or you I wrote mixed, it? I mix the song that he Oh, did. nice. Okay, yes. so you don't just produce, you mix. I also mix, um, yeah, I master. I mix Praise's new, new album. Yeah, yes, wow. new album. I mix. Mm. not the first time working doing this mixer or producer okay. for him as well. Fantastic. Um, but well, there's one big person you have not worked with. I don't understand. That. Sugar mommy. Don't want the sugar mommy. You don't want me. to pay. <laughs> That's a, see, people, this woman has a lot of money, oh, but she doesn't want to pay. <laughs> no, 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 so do free for your friend. PR free. <laughs> I work with Sinatra as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm. So let me tell you the truth. Eh? When yes. you see who have you worked with, my brain just freezes. That's okay. Where do I even start from? Mm. So that's always a problem. No, but me. that's why you need to work with Sugar Mom. Because once you work with me, you also do my album. No problem. See, the album, it will cross from India to China. We'll do, it in, we'll do it in 2015. No problem. 2015. No, no, no. no. 2015. It's just two years. Baba, my election album, I won't do. And they sing about all the candidates. Back to back. <laughs> Let's get and, this paper down. And, and forms and 100 million era forms. I you didn't know. say anything. <laughs> so, very quickly, I want to ask you when you want to start to produce a song, when you walk into the studio, mm. okay, what's the first thing you do when you want to produce a song? People when say this guy is so beats? spiritual. Now, yes. I pray, I won't lie to you. Wow. I pray first because mm -hmm. one of the things you, or two things you want is inspiration. And trust me, eh? I know people get that inspiration from other things, but me, I don't know another thing. So now only God they give me inspiration. So it's only Jara Sapphire, you get your inspiration from one? Well, <laughs> I could use that one. I talk about you, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next thing I also, I mean, the next thing I also try to avoid is so, yes. so I don't produce the same, so, two different songs the same way. Okay. So it's very hard to listen to two songs I produce and they sound, they sound the, same. the same. So I'm very, very careful of those two things. So I pray. And then I'm very meticulous, like, okay, I don't want this to sound like any other thing I've done. Mm. Once I begin to feel it sounding like it, I stop. Take a pause. Yeah, take a pause. So go do something else, I come back. So, so I want to ask you this question. How did production start from you? Were you, a, were you an artist? Were you a studio rat? I want to, how did you find production? I was, a, I was born into music, okay. I should say. Mm. So my mom owned this restaurant and bar. And then my dad was one of the leaders in church. You know, then now... You can do anything, you know, you can drink small or whatever and still go to church and say hallelujah. So that was a mix I found myself. So my dad was a leader in church, Anglican church, and my mom had this restaurant and bar. So music was just everywhere. Yeah. So whether it's Ebenezer Obe, whether it's Aila Omaniura, whether it's Bob Mali, whether it's Kola the Gang, mm. everything. I had an idea of everything. So at some point, I was a very curious, curious child. Okay. I think I should be like maybe 
five or six or something somewhere there. I'm like, how do they put music on this thing? See these plates on this thing? Yes. Like, how do they put music there? You just put one small thing and then it's playing. I became so curious. I'll take the record and look at it like this. Mm -hmm. so, Try and get out the music shots or something. Yeah, like, are the, are the musicians living in this thing? Yeah. So that was where it started for, for me. Okay. And then whilst I was in secondary school, mm -hmm. I think from SS1, no, no, from GSS3. Mm -hmm. What am I saying? Even from primary six. I'll be sneaking, going behind bands that are playing, just checking what they're doing. So, okay, this must be so drums. So that was where you, that where was you where got started from. Ear for sound. That was where I started from. Fantastic. And then later, I became a studio rat. Mm. I didn't care anything you want me to do, I will do. If you want me to go and buy you food, I'll go and buy the food. Just let me be in the studio. If you want me to clean the studio, I will, no matter how big it is, I will clean that studio. Wow. Yes. If you want, in fact, there are days, days, I'm not saying two days, mm -hmm. days, I've not had my bath. Yeah, just in the studio. Just in the studio. And I don't care. Mm. You know, there are times they will chase me out. See, go and sit down. They want to do something. I don't mind. I don't feel insulted. I'll go and sit down. So that's how it started for me. And then guess what? From that studio rat position was when I gathered most of the knowledge I needed. And then when I launched out, and somebody else took me in as an apprentice, he took me in and realized that this guy has ears for a lot of things. In production he probably might not doesn't know how to really operate these things but he has the ears once i tell him do this like this he will, he will go above my expectation so this man retained me as an apprentice and started paying me as well wow. whilst he's teaching me how to produce his name is johnson davidson i will wow. forever forever mention his name mm. <laughs> i'll forever mention his name so he took me in through mm. he took me in as an apprentice you know showed me how to produce, showed me how to use the computer to produce. In fact, what now happened later was his own ogre now requested for me to come and work with him. That's Dr. Bayo Adepetu. Maybe. That's the father of, um, what's his name? I'll least, um, least forget his name. I'm sorry, I can't This fashionable you. guy, Denola Gray. Oh. Yes, that's okay. the father of Denola Gray. Wow. He now took me in as his staff wow. from Johnson Davidson. You know, I say from there, it's been there. It's been amazing. Well, I'm about to say something that's going about to break my heart. You know, <laughs> we've been having a good time, but guess what? It's about time to say bye bye oh. to him. Now, this parts me, but uh, there's <laughs> nothing I can do about it because we have another guest, and then of course the show must go on. But before we go, I got to produce a song for me. Yes or no? <laughs> 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 right, so how can people get to follow you? You can follow me on Instagram, Music Magnet. Not Magnet, oh. <laughs> music Magnet. Magnet is spelled M-A-G-N-A-T-E. Magnet is M-A-G-N-E-T. No, it's Magnet. M-A-G-N-A-T-E. Same on, on Twitter, underscore, Music Magnet. Same on Facebook, Music Magnet. Mm, now, I know you have a fantastic voice. Are you not just going to leave us? You're going to sing for us as you know. Yes. I'm poor today. I'm back you up. I'm going back you up. Anything. What do you want me to say? Anything, anything, anything. <laughs> Just feel free. Um, My birthday is on, is on Friday. So, hey, so happy, happy birthday no, to no, you. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Say hello, Fanny. Say to yes. Okay. Happy birthday to you. You then. Happy birthday to you. Hey, happy birthday. <laughs> 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 I'm going to take a break. When we're coming back, we'll come back with our next guest. Don't go anywhere. Enjoy the show. The request shows here. Say bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for having me. <laughs>